Hey guys, so I'm here on Bamboo Studio and today I just want to talk to you about how you can organize models of a similar category using multiple plates. I'm sure a lot of you have something similar to this. You have a folder, it's called like 3D models or something. And inside there you have a whole bunch of other subfolders. For example, one called masks, one called cars, one called geocaches, you know, one called rings, props, Star Wars, whatever. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're even worse and you just have a pile of STLs like this. And maybe inside the Fit Masks folder, you have one as Doll, Frontman, Ghostface, Jason. And inside there, maybe you have your 3MF project file, your STL file, who knows what else. Over time, as you accumulate more and more models, this can become super cluttered and super complicated. It may become very time consuming to go back and forth and find these models and load and reload and reload them to work with them, especially if you work with them on a regular basis. So today, what we are going to do in Bamboo Studio, instead of doing all that, we are going to use a single project to organize all these masks using multiple plates. Those of you new to Bamboo Studio will find multiple plates a foreign and new and possibly intimidating feature. Those of you who do use multiple plates may use it simply to organize a single project. However, that doesn't have to be the case. It can be a powerful tool for organizing single part models, such as masks. We do this by hovering over the plus button on the grid icon and looking for the pop-up that says add plate, clicking on the plus button to add an additional plate. I find that Studio prefers me to move my mouse away and represent it to add another plate. So we will go ahead and add a few plates. Now open your folder. I have mine on a separate model. Select your masks and drag them onto the plate. Bamboo Studio will import them all onto a single plate. How kind of you, Bamboo Studio. I will now grab each model and give it its very own plate. And here we are with six individual mask projects on one project file. We can now go ahead and work with each project individually. For example, I need to rotate this one 180 degrees. Let's say we want to put this mask on a different plate than the global plate, which is set as a textured PI plate. We can go here and click on the gear icon. I can change the plate for this specific model to a different one, such as the cool plate. I can go ahead and click on this one, click on the gear and change this one's plate to the engineering plate. And I can leave the rest set to global. And what that will do is set them all to whatever I have set here in the global settings. Now with six models on one project, all of these models will have unique specifications required for a successful print. For example, Ghostface here will probably need to be printed a little bit slower than Frontman. The Big Red Machine might need a little extra infill or even an additional wall because it's a fairly thin model. Our lady over here is quite big and hefty. She will probably be strong with less infill and less walls. And of course, we have Jason who's going to need support blockers like crazy because it's going to want to support all these little overhangs on the holes. And those of you who are familiar with your printer will know your P1P, P1S, X1C, etc. can probably handle those holes without support. So taking all that into consideration is where you want to go ahead and use the objects tab. Over here, you will see under process, global is highlighted. That means when you make a change, for example, enabling supports and setting it to a threshold of 35, it is going to change those settings globally to every plate on this bed. And if we want to go ahead and set the filament, for example, Crowley Gold, you will see it applied the gold globally under the global tab to every single model. However, we don't want to print all of these masks in gold. For example, Jason Voorhees should be printed in white. Frontman should be printed in black. So we need to go ahead and add those two filaments by pressing the plus sign, add one filament, add one filament, and then choose the filament you will need to assign to your models. 
I need one in white. I need one in black. We will then click on plate number one. The STL file is mask seven. We will right click on that, scroll down to change filament and attach filament number two, the white filament. We will then go over to plate number five, right click on the frontman STL file, change filament and assign filament number three, which is black. If you are unsure which plate number your model is on, you'll see the numbers are hiding in green right here in the corner of the plate. I will be printing anonymous in white, ghost face in white, cane in black, and creepy doll model also in white. And now we have one single project with six individual masks that we have begun customizing for their own unique slice and printing parameters. Now you can simply make multi-plate projects, categorize them by topic, for example, masks, come in here and work on those masks all at once. And when you're ready to print, simply highlight the plate, slice the plate, and send it to the printer of your choice and the filament of your choice in your AMS if you have one. If you'd like, you can also create a G-code file that will open individually already sliced and ready for printing. Rather than opening the entire project, clicking this plate, re-slicing it and printing it each time you use it by slicing this plate, clicking on file, clicking on export and clicking on export plate sliced file. This will create a sliced 3MF version of that plate named whatever you want. The plate number gcode.3mf. So we can go ahead and call this anonymous 6 gcode.3mf. And guess what? This is a great time to go ahead and put it in those previously used organized folders. Save. Now we can open up that sliced plate file by going to home, open project, and you will find your anonymous plate 6 gcode.3mf file. When it opens, you will see it just opens that single plate. It's already sliced and all you have to do is press print and send it to your printer. Now we will save this project as masks you will see it change from untitled to masks and all this is saved under a single project file named masks so let's say we need to assign different infill to these masks for example kane needs greater infill than jason we will click on objects we will click on kane and you will see his settings appear below the object's browser. Here you can click on strength and you can go ahead and give Kane all the support you want. For example, 25%. Kane now has 25% infill, while Jason still only has 15 infill. We can go ahead and give Jason 10. Now we can select a different plate and a different mask simply by choosing it here in the browser or clicking on it here in the workspace. For example, creepy doll face mask has an info density of 15. We can give her 12. And now as we click in the objects browser between each model, you will see that the infill density has been retained for each individual model. And then you go ahead and save and those settings will stick. For those of you concerned about accidentally reorientating your model by using the auto orientation features inappropriately, you can go ahead and click the lock button. That lock button will prevent your model on that plate from accidentally being altered by using the orientation feature. You will see when I press auto orientate, my masks did all kinds of weird stuff, except the ones I had locked, they stayed put. So if you are working with auto orientation and you are afraid that you might press the wrong thing and cause one of your models to get ruined on its plate, do press the lock button. That'll prevent this from happening. And there you have it. 
we have worked individually with six separate models on one project file. This is really great for those of you who work with an extensive list of models and those of you who work with the same set of models over and over and over again. Take some time, practice working with the global and objects tab, practice working with individual models on individual plates because they do have specific behaviors that are a little different than working with a single plate at a time. And you may make occasional mistakes that affect other models unintentionally. The more time you spend working on multiple plates with multiple models in one single project file, the more proficient you will become at doing it successfully and saving yourself a lot of time and clutter. Don't forget when you are done making changes to any of these plates, hit the save button and go about your day. Hey.